I really don't know. All you can do is just work hard and make a film with honesty and rest it. It's up to the audience and I think uh, with uh, Singham, uh, gradually it became a cult film. Yeah. When it had started, it was just an action film what we made. Right. And uh, throughout means, the time it's become cult because of satellite I think. Yeah. People have started watching, watching it again and again. Over again yeah. and now like if a cop does a good job in any state or any city, it's like he's Gujarat ka Singham, he's yeah. UP ka Singham. So I think and as you say, it's 13 years and even we don't feel it like it's been 13 years now. Ajay, how do you remember the, the making the first film? Yeah? How do I remember? Um, in fact, we were making something else. That's what I remember. And uh, uh, Ruth had locked the script and we had finalized everything. And I remember we were shooting in London for another film. And uh, he called me up. And as soon as I, had, I was supposed to come back from London, I was supposed to start shooting with him and he called me up and he said uh, I've got a fabulous script let's change what we are making and let's make this and uh, on the phone in five minutes he narrated me the whole idea and I said okay and as soon as I came back he was already in Goa and I just reached Goa from London and we started shooting. So not a lot of time in prep and any of that nothing. Wow. You know I remember what, what Singham did is up until that time, and I feel that Hindi films had sort of, you know, we had the cop stereotype. The police always comes late, the police is not able to solve the case. The police had become a little bit of a joke in Hindi movies till Singham came along. What Singham did, and I think all of you will agree, it sort of, it made the cops the stars again. It kind of gave them a whole renewed respect and it made people believe that that actually they are good people, they, they do the right thing and they can solve the crimes. All of which had actually the reputation had taken a little bit of a beating. Um, tell me what that was like Rohit was it was it a personal mission to sort of, to, to kind of show us the glory of the of the cops? See, uh, when we, we were making, it was, it was a, first of all, Singham was done by Surya okay. earlier. Yeah. And that's how we saw the film and then we made our draft uh, for Hindi audience. And when, uh, when we were making the first film, it was just a <coughs> hardcore mass action film, right. like we were planning to. And it was not an agenda that uh, we want to, but yes, definitely, uh, during the making of the film, yeah. uh, we did interact with a lot of cops and uh, how they, what, uh, what they go through. Mm. And that was little, uh, uh, I thought that this is something which we should tell the audience and show the audience like yeah. their side of story, yeah. their personal side of story. And that's how it all happened. Rohit sir, I love you! <laughs> Thank you, I love you too. Okay. Out of the blue. <laughs> Ajay, for you, I mean, you know, you all have, the two of you have really become sort of emblematic of the police. I mean, like, the police force loves you. You're like, you're, you're, for every small thing, they want you as the, you're almost the sort of unpaid ambassadors for the police, for the police force. What is that like, um, um, Ajay? Do you feel like that's sort of some, you know, I mean, that, that's what Singham achieved. And, and subsequently, the films that you've made have achieved. Yeah, so uh, that's something we are very grateful for. Uh, when, uh, when when the original Singhams, the cops, they recognize us. Uh, but that also gives you a lot of responsibility. That, uh, you know, little things also. Earlier, when you were younger, you would jump a signal or something like that. Now, after, you know... Yeah, this was, I would say uh, it's difficult. Uh, where pro production is concerned, I'm not talking about them being on the set together. Right. I've been fortunate enough that they all were friends and we had a great time uh, where uh, everyone coming together is concerned. But yes, uh, I think we had a team of around 1000 people when we were shooting the climax. Wow. Like uh, if you see the climax, the shots, the few shots are there, like the team uh, from South Africa was there who shoots fear factor for us. Wow. They were there, the team from Bangkok was there, my team was there. So we all came together for the climax. And I think uh, the experience what kids will have now when they watch Singham against Climax is like something like I'm very proud of. Yeah. It's turned out really well, you know. Ajay, can you talk as, 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 as also, you know, as the lead star of the film, but also as one of the producers, how important it is to deliver this sort of cinematic experience in today's times when the, when the stakes are so high and when, when it feels like Nothing short of spectacular is going to is is is. is so we are like work. that bachpan ka uncles for you, like, <laughs> you know? Oh, you all are going for Singham again, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 
when did you know that there was potential to take the story forward? Also, because that was a time when there were not many franchises, right? I mean, like this was. I mean, of course, Goldman you had made into this into this event. But how do you know that Singham is something that we can tell more stories around? The kind of love we got from Singham yeah. uh, gave us that confidence. That now, like like Goldman, we can have an action series also. But we never thought into a universe. It was just Singham Return was just another sequel. sequel. When we were making Simba, that time we thought, okay, let's try this, and that was the first film where this whole universe thing started happening. Ajay, do you remember sort of uh, going back? To, first of all, what was it like going back three years later, uh, four years, no, three years later, 2014 was when you did uh, Singham Returns, right? Yeah. And this time you got time to prep for the character. I think that the, then it was part of your system. Yeah, I mean, first was like a prep. Right. right. Um, when did you feel like this was a character that has the potential to sort of tell more stories? No, not really. It's it's just that uh, after after one released and then the kind of response uh, we got from the audience, and especially I think uh, uh, it was very strange for the first time in my life. Also, I felt in a, like a typical action masala film. Uh, was liked and the character was loved by kids and by women. That's right. Yeah. I think I think that was the first time it happened that that a character like this, yeah. women started liking. I, I think it was it was a character women thought that if if you have a man, it should be like this. Right. You know that yeah. that started falling into. You agree? Place. The women in the room. <laughs> so I think that's where we realized that you see in men it would work right. you know, because it's an action film. Yeah. When it started working in kids and in women, that's where you knew that there's something right with the character. Right. Tell us a little about Simba and, and and how the universe expanded. Simba, obviously, when we were doing Simba, I came to him like in the, the risk, I think let's merge into it and make a universe in our country also. Let's yeah. see. Uh, there was a risk if Simba would have not worked, Sim Singham was coming in that film yeah, right. and was Suryavanshi as well. So again, it was like a risk we took. Uh, and it worked, and then it was like in our, uh, in Hindi or for the Hindi audience whether they understand this thing. Acha Singam kaise aage isme? Acha ye kaun hai? But it worked for us, and then uh, after that we all started making universe out of uh, you know every genre. I think. Singam's entry in Simba. Do you remember, guys? Yes. I mean that was that was pure magic. Uh, Ajay, do you remember that? I mean, do you remember sort of playing to the that was literally playing to the gallery, right? Yeah, I think, uh, of course I remember that and that, uh, uh, actually that started in one only, uh, when, when uh, in, the, in yeah. one I think the Scorpio turns in, I get off. So that again became so significant that uh, that it had to be repeated, that it became a part of Shikam's character. I think the, the, the thing about doing it in Simba was that for a lot of people it was unexpected, right? You don't, I mean, of course you've seen the trailer and one had a sense of it, but to just see that, to see another character that you, such a beloved character sort of step into another film, just felt magical completely. Uh, and then of course there was, there was Surya Manchi. Um, well, the, how much confidence did you have that the idea of a universe, I mean, you were doing what hadn't been done certainly in, in, in Hindi or in India before. I mean, the closest example was Marvel. And what you've done with uh, with Singham again is you've given us the Avengers. You're giving us, uh, you're, you're really giving us the Avengers. I mean, how, like you rightly said previously, everything is a risk because if one element doesn't, fails, then the whole universe sort of could, it, it's potentially it could collapse. What do you go in? Um, what do you all go in, Ajay? What do you all go in with, knowing that um, what is the level of confidence, the uh, the level of conviction that you need to go in when when the stakes are that high? I think uh, making a commercial film, <coughs> conviction is the only thing which works. Because other than that, everything is against you. Yeah. Uh, where logic is concerned, uh, or where a, a segment of audience is concerned, <laughs> it's a risk which you take when you make a commercial hardcore mass film. It's it's risky. And it will always be risky, uh, but uh, we've been fortunate enough that it has worked in our favor. Yeah. And I think it's also step by step. Yeah. When uh, you take it, you take a baby step, like we did one, and then we realized there can be a two because we got this kind of response. Then after two, it was a baby step that let's do Simba and then merge Singham in it, and then you know it's like. As as the audience starts accepting things, you take steps, so it and you reach a point. And I think honesty is also very important in that. Like you can't, we can't just because people love the character, we can't make the same thing again. Right. But that is what we have to work on now for the audience. No, Ajay, a lot. I think most people here will know, and everyone everyone knows you're a very secure actor. And 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 I think and maybe Rohit will will jump in and uh, sort of add to this. I, I, I assume it, it requires a lot of 
confidence and security to to have that big heart and say let's open this universe up let's have more characters come in let's have other stars come in but did you ever wonder whether ajay would be open to that yes because for like i always give and the beauty uh, really you're very you're very cautious that mm-hmm. intentionally you should not be making any uh, mistakes <laughs> yeah. so i think in a way it's good also and uh, and a lot of responsibility also comes with it Can we talk about the climax? To me, this is the best climax in many years. I haven't seen a better climax, and and 13 years ago, it still feels like it's the most innovative, original. It's a claustrophobic. It's it's race against time. It's feeling like something is going to happen, and it's just amazing. How did you all achieve that? Do you remember shooting it? Did you? How do you know whether you're getting it right? You, you know when we when we were writing the script, the climax of the film, we thought that it's an action film. It has to be like. Yeah, a lot of big Scorpios and a lot of people and lot, lot of fighters cars. and all that. And then we were like, it's not working. And you will not believe that we wrote this thing and we shot in one day. The whole sequence. The whole sequence we shot in one day in uh, in Goa. So it was like we started writing it and it was just like uh, it, uh, the flow was like, okay, I think this will work uh, because people will <coughs> think that there will be an action climax and let's do that this way. Right. That's how it happened and it clicked. Okay, how do you know if it's working? How do you know when you're shooting something whether it's because th- so much you, depends on you, that. You 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 do get a hint. Uh, you uh, realize that things are working, <coughs> and you also realize when the things are not working. Uh, but uh, yeah, so somewhere uh, somewhere, uh, I mean, ninety nine percent you are not wrong in that it's working or not working. Deep inside, you feel that. Uh, if it's not working, you know when the film will will release, then you will know that. uh but most of the time you get this inclination that you know we've gone wrong somewhere who came up with the line atama ji said who came up with that and what is the story behind that again one, one of those sort of uh, it, it, it's it's iconic and it's a pop cultural moment um genuinely you know we, was, we had just written because those characters both singham and the villain jaykan shikre they were maharashtrians that's right and uh, it became an iconic line yeah and he just tells that uh, says that line once in the film yeah. otherwise it's told by the villain Correct. by jaykan shikre throughout the film and we never thought it was for us it was just a line and it became a again a line which like everybody says now it's like we never thought about it now did you remember no at that moment it was just a line just another line <laughs> you know it's it's you deliver a lot of lines and you don't know what the audience will uh, lap up yeah so uh, it was while while doing it and uh, it was just a line and it became a cult line and the pose should we do it go for it pose i think uh, it was in the song ganesh acharya had uh, done that and then i think i'm telling you nothing was planned Wow. we were just making a normal mask because we made three gol gol masks by then we had yeah, done all the best by then and we were doing bolbachin after that so it was all comedies we were doing and then in between we thought let's make an hardcore mass action film yeah. and while making it we was like if we go wrong because nobody was making mass action that time we have bolbachin and that will that will save us so we never thought that it will become such a big film or it will become like a cult you would never plan a super hit film you only plan try to make a good film Correct. super hit happens if yeah all right when did this nothing have opened up everything on the uh, in the trailer bigger, much bigger than anything we've seen before uh, no i can't claim on that it is our biggest it looks like that yeah uh, means what we have done till now it is our biggest for sure but i can't claim that this is the biggest ever Uh, we really worked hard on it and like we try to create something yeah. and i i'm i hope uh, that people will like it and i'm pretty much sure in fact that they will love it because we have done it honestly yeah. like we worked really hard on it and it's an if we are not trying to catch a singam ban gayi thi simba bhi chal gayi thi suri vanchi bhi to ye aise kar lete so it's not like that like it's been a tough journey for us for the whole team uh, and uh, today when we see the film like we are very happy with the whole journey you know to both of you i want to ask when you're making a film like this where where you already know that there are elements that that the fans are going to love anyway because they, they because they know what to expect from brand singham for you all is it more is what is more important to to give them what they want 
or also for your own personal growth to add things that feel new and and you know just for, just so that you all feel like you all are also adding new elements which you haven't tried before what is the what is the formula to to creating something that is that is going to be this widely anticipated adding is very important i think to the same thing i know that the whole euphoria yeah. uh, and there is a set format uh, if it is a singam or if it is from yeah. the cop universe that you're coming here to enjoy you're coming here for the to clap on the entries and on the action so definitely those things are always there back of your mind and you shoot accordingly and you always there is one thing that you always feel is like how to make it bigger and better for the audience but the uh, film industry is all about risk yeah. so that risk factor will always be there and uh, you can't run away from that uh, that and also in today's times you have to deliver you have to deliver something big something for big screen uh or or you're going to fail so you have to take those risks the other master stroke rohit is the ramayan is is sort of linking it to the ramayan and and, and can you talk about that at what stage of the scripting did that become such a crucial no, when you were thinking like now we like we going to take this uh, story forward after suryavanshi during pandemic is when we were working on the ideas like how to take it forward oh uh, was the time shitish uh, patwardhan uh, came to me the who's uh, done part screenplay also he came with this idea it was his story not mine okay what if we do like that and he had a graph of characters like if we take this journey forward and what's interesting is when you see the film it's uh, this ramayan but uh, we traveled all the way um, we shot also all the way uh, from uh, uh, from family uh, knowing that the film is going by well uh, That's what this Diwali is all about. Lots of firecrackers, both uh, in our homes, outside our homes, but also in the theater. Feels like this is going to be one big firecracking Diwali. Thank you, guys. Uh,